Cool. It's your boy Jay, aka Straight Drop Jay, and you're now watching Reason Gang TV. Today, we're gonna do a little request video, which is how to sidechain. All right, now there's a couple ways to sidechain and a couple uses. One of them is sidechaining your 808 kick to your sub 808. That way, it carves a certain space out when the kick hits, it pushes down or compresses the 808 sub and it allows the kick to bump without peaking too much and it, it, it creates a perceived um, loudness without going higher than zero which is really bad in the digital realm but anyways there's a couple other ways and another way to sidechain is popular in EDM it is sidechaining the kick to the synth lead and uh, that is super cool it creates a lot of space and uh, there's one more way that I know about that well actually you can do a bunch of ways but one more way that I know is really cool is to it's called vocal ducking you side chain your voice to the melody or the whole beat and whenever you speak it ducks down and it compresses just the melody and it carves a space out for your voice not to fight with the melody uh, some radio broadcasters use it to duck the whole uh, soundtrack that way when they're talking it pushes down the vocals cinematic um, the uh, composers or um, scoring and producers they also do that with vocals and for the dialogue whenever there's melodies in the background of their production but uh the main cool way what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to carve space out of the 808 sub for the kick without doing it manually you simply side chain the kick to the sub and you could play with the amounts to carve as much space as you want let's go I'm gonna show you guys how to do it with stock uh, plugins in reason let's do it what's up y'all okay so this is what we're gonna do we are going to All right, so I have a beat going. And I'm gonna show you guys how to side chain the kick right here to the sub right here. So first of all, what you're gonna do is you're going to grab a compressor. So let's go look for the compressor right here. I'll hold shift when I drag it so it doesn't automatically um, put it on whatever's closest. All right, so now. I simply take. A splitter. Let's look for that right here. My check. Yeah. OK. Audio splitter. Hold shift, bring that down here. All right, so what we're going to have to do is we're going to compress the sub. So I need to get a signal from the kick. Easy enough, right? So we'll have to split the kick signal. Now that I have it in the splitter, I have four outputs. I put one back where it goes. The other one is going to go into the side chain in on the compressor. Now, I want to compress the sub, so I have to root the sub in. So I, I just basically put the compressor in the signal flow and I brought the output right back. So now it is side chained and you will see right here how much it's compressing and then I'll mute it to show you what it's doing. You see how it's pushing down every time the kick hits but I muted it. So we can basically make it go more, push it down more by increasing the, so, uh, the, the compressor threshold. Let's give it a longer release. Quicker attack. Yeah. 
If you notice, it's not peaking at all. Let me show you what it sounds like without the side chain. It's subtle and it allows you to carve out some space. Let's put the adapt. Once again, I'll turn it off. Now I'll turn it on. You could turn down the ratio to make it more subtle. Bring up the threshold so it doesn't push it down so much. Let me bring in the melody so you can hear how it'll sound with the melody. Once again, you can see where it's compressing the sub right here, according to the kick. That was a quick little tutorial on how to side chain an 808 sub to an 808 kick. I hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial. I know my mic is super juiced up. It sounds like I got the biggest compressor on it because today I decided to put the 20 dB gain by accident. But um, other than sounding like a 1990s rapper right now with all this compression, uh, I hope you guys have a good one, man.